Welcome gamers to another installment of VTuber Suffers Online. This is EU West, which means um hell. I wanna play this terrible game called League of Legends. And the first fucking thing that happens is that top lane griefs me by making jungle destroy my champ. So now I'm gonna have to dodge and then waste another 10 minutes in champ select. Is that it? Fix your game. Once people select a champ, you shouldn't be able to ban them. That's, that's, that, honestly, honest to God, that's what it should be. Oh, thank God, someone left. The worst part is me having so many points on my Akali. Makes it seem as if I'm, like, super good with her. And it does make people kind of, like, pissy, because they're like, then how, how, how do you, why are you sucking so much? Shouldn't you be really great with that champ? Oh, that depends. At least the Bruiser build is back, which I'm happy about. Because her burst build fucking sucks. Is Akali your fave champ? Uh, yes, throughout the years. It's also my most played champ. I do not have, like, she has 300,000 points. The most... Uh, I have on other champions like 90 because the way she moves it, it's it's weird like she is a character that plays like a Devil May Cry character where it's it's she's not about rotation it's about using her abilities in the correct like like circumstance yay look at that thanks her moveset is the coolest that and her design Kali is kind of the reason why I played played League I didn't play her at first because I thought she was too complicated, but then I got into the rabbit hole and, uh, you know, look at me, still here, so many years later, right? This is an odd, uh, oh, you want me to help with whoever the fuck is doing the scuttle on this side. Let's go! I heard she was speedy, character development. She's... Yes and no. She's she's kind of weird because they kept nerfing her, right? So now she's in this weird build where people play her as an assassin, but she kind of sucks as an assassin unless your your enemies are literally too slow to react to it. So she's more of a like weird bruiser, I found. But then again, I always I like over the years I've played her every fucking single way. I have played her as a mage. I have played her AD. I have played her lethality. I have played her with like a tank build. And those have been funny. People don't expect you to become really tanky after a while. And so the weird damage you do is like uncanny. It's like, wait, how, 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 why are you doing this? Where did this come from? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Eee! Oh, she got him. I don't know how, but like, awesome. Her getting him makes my life easier because then I'm gonna allow to get a level advantage. Oh no, no, he has an extra, oh, he has his first item, shit. Oh, he's allowed to hit faster. Soon he gets the items where he just gets double damage because this game fucking hates me. See if we can go help top lane. I'm getting a lot of assists, I'm just not getting killed. Which is not good, because that means I'm not snowballing. The Evelyn's good. Or at least she's snowballing. No! Hit. Ah. I have so much internal hate against them, those champs. The wind shitter champs. They buy it. He's not even building correctly. If he just builds one critical chance, he immediately double strikes. Like double the damage. I truly would like to see how much this reduces the damage. Well, how much damage gets saved by, by buying the boots. Why is he not here? You can do it. I believe in you. Well, you, you believe in me. I don't believe in me. That's the problem. <laughs> champs just obnoxious. The brother's even more so in the top lane, which I'm happy I don't have to fight that guy because fucking hate fighting Yones. They're about on the equal scale of uh, amount they piss me off. Sona, Sona, what the fuck are you doing here? Go to the mid lane. Go away. I mean, if you're gonna be a super minion, then that's at least something. There we go. Look at that. Plain bot lane. Maybe, uh, actually, I wouldn't be able to have captured that without her. So, good thing that you're here, Sona. Your service has been provided, and now I can go get this. Look at that. I can get the Rift Maker. Hell yeah. Ah. Hey. We got something out of it. Okay, we are not staying there. Fuck! No, I didn't see the, the, the disease. It's the Akali disease. And they're all scalers. All of them are scalers except the Ari. 
pretty soon. There's going to be zero counterplay against that. I can play a Kali okay. I can't play her like well enough to go against the hyperscalers. That was a well-timed all my fucking health. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think we can win this. We literally cannot push them back. Barely. Did they make it? There, he's just too strong. I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even. It's not even fun, by the way. No counter to that. There, there's nothing. There's just nothing you can do against that. Like, what the fuck? Do you, like, what the fuck do you even do against this comp? This is this is this is officially the worst game of League I've ever played. There is there is no fucking way you can convince me that this is a fun game to play. What the hell? What the hell is this? A Yong Tom? So he constantly split pushes. He gets double damage from crit, and he gets to you know have all the safety of that a, that a Yong gets, right? Master Yi, must I say more? The most win shitty fucking spammable champ. Oh, possible, right? Yasuo, literally the same as Yon, gets double crit for no fucking good reason, has a shit ton of mobility, has stuns, hits faster and harder. What do you do against that? And then you have bot lane, which consisted of two APs that both have like stun cages and ultra scaling damage and a lot of stuns and mobility. So you cannot catch any of them. They outrun you, they out damage you, and they outscale you. This game was lost in champ select. Like, mega ass. I even, I even wonder what the fuck are the damage thing. Yeah, yeah, the Evelyn was carrying this game, but I'm sticking champs like for like three more years. Cham Def needed a CC tank, but they would have outstunned them. That's the thing, right? Yeah, um, although a, C a tank would have gone a long way, right? Like, let's say we had a Nau Nautilus bot, Nautilius bot, or a Malphite bot, that j just to help out with like stunning them for long enough to be able to bring some damage in. To like engage in that sense because Sona is just the worst Seraphine, right? And yeah, an Olaf top is just a jungler, so like you said, like something tanky top, like let's say Scion, something that scales or whatever and does a decent amount of damage depending on how you build them. And it could have gone Galio mid, but I don't think that would have changed that much. I'm, I'm just not that good with them, but it's just an unlucky game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like five minutes of just all of us dying and then defeat the end. I'm bronze three. How am I bronze three? I'm actually surprised I'm even bronze three. I just don't play enough ranked because I don't like it because this stuff happens where people play this fucking greatly stupid shit. And the Evelyn did very well. She, she, she played around. She played with their with psychology of her, of her jungle, you know, going in, invading him. Sometimes just being there for a little bit, but then running away just to like get on the jungler's nerves. Us invading, even pre pre six ganking mid successfully, like holy, crap. that's something that doesn't get done often. But just bot kept getting stomped. You can see it on the mini map, right? Like Vagar and in, in, in Ari were just totally in their shit the entire time. And then it's technically my fault as the mid laner to not go and help them out. But I had the Yasuo who just constantly kept pushing me in, so I couldn't like just push in and and and, and go help them because the Yasuo was just constantly on my teeth because he's just such an overpowered fucking bullshit champ, Riot. I also love Riot, right? So a while ago, they nerfed Yasuo and Yon because they were too overpowered. So they nerfed them by nerfing like their items or whatever, which nerfed a whole bunch of other champions. And then they found that Yasuo and Yon weren't performing as well, you know, because you nerfed them because that was the point, right? And then they buffed them again. And it's like, could you not? Why doesn't it take at least like three items for them to reach their max crit? Again, the double crit thing is just so fucking bullshit. But they don't even have other utility. They do. They have stuns on their auto attacks. Okay, they have to like use it three times their Q, but still, it's a stun on their auto attack. I will never forgive Yasuo and Yon. I, those are champs I just cannot uh, come to terms with. I, I hate their design. The only way they, they, they might be able to fix them if you don't want to like take away the double crit stuff is give them like the lowest attack speed in the game where it's like painfully obvious the game doesn't want you to play them that where you we have to build so much speed to compensate but even then it's like bullshit that or take away all the fucking mobility oh but akali has so much mobility does she she has one e that's on a high high cooldown she has the smoke bubble okay the smoke bubble is the biggest thing she has right and then she has her ult which isn't even free targetable anymore i'm a great super minion uh, oh that's my bad I think two Zeris in like the same 
two games. That's an awful quinkadink. Pick a tank. Pick a tank. No! That's not a tank! Oh, we're fucked. They have Rakan. That's a tank. They have Zyorik. That's a split pusher. So they have their own engage. And they have a split pusher to constantly put pressure on the side lanes. But we have Velvath. That's dependent on what she plays. Did they nerf Zeri to shit? Oh god, thank you.